Now to a story that we promised you. Pharmacists are in high demand and short supply around the nation. An innovative program here in the Valley is successfully helping community medical centers fill that void by home-growing future pharmacists. The pharmacy residency program started seven years ago with one resident. That special pharmacist has come full circle as she now teaches residents in the very same program that gave her her start. Hey, Dr. Che. Thanks. How's it going? It's going all right. Stacy Anderson is a trauma critical care pharmacist at Community Regional Medical Center. Back in 2002, she was the first pharmacy resident in Community's program. Since then, 14 residents have completed the program, and six have stayed on to become pharmacists at community medical centers. The program is accredited by the American Society of Health System Pharmacists. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Right. How about you? Oh, pretty good. Are you guys ready for rounding? Yep. Pharmacist Alice Robbins has been the director of the program the past four and a half years. The intent of our residency program is to give back to the profession of pharmacy as well as providing excellent training for our residents. And we also want to introduce our residents to what a great place community regional is to work and also to show them what a great place the Central Valley is to live. There's good reason for that. Residents have come to community from all over the nation. They are taught by clinical pharmacists known as preceptors. Residents are required to take five core clinical rotations, ambulatory care, internal medicine, infectious diseases, emergency medicine, and critical care. I mean, the only really adjustment I was thinking about making on... Stacy first found out about the program from someone who is near and dear to her, a registered nurse. My mom's worked here for 35 years, and in that period of time, she got to know people in the pharmacy, and as parents talk about their kids with other parents. Um, she mentioned that I was in pharmacy school and they said, oh, well, did you realize we had a residency that's starting? And so she was actually the one who told me that they were starting a residency and I was able to interview with the people here and just thought it would be really exciting and fun to start a new residency with, with these people. Being a trailblazer was motivating too. Being the first resident was really fun and exciting. It was a brand new program that very few people knew anything about. Robin says the program is getting recognized throughout the state and nation. It has expanded its clinical services, allowing preceptors to give even more exceptional high-quality rotations to the residents. I think the best thing that I personally like is that I get to train new residents every year and giving the opportunity for them to learn from exceptional preceptors like we have here um, is one of the greatest things that we can give back to our profession and I'm just honored to be part of it. And for Stacy, now a preceptor for new residents, she's come full circle. That's been amazing. It's, it was so much fun being a resident, so interesting. It was a lot of hard work, but it's really good to be done with it and to be able to be a preceptor for new residents now. I know what they've been through and I know what they're going through. And so for me, it's easy to empathize with them and to understand and help them through and make sure that it's a great experience for them as well. Sure sounds like it has been for Stacy. By the way, just this month, three new residents started the program as the eighth class. So far, 43% of the residents in the history of the program have decided to call the Valley and Community Medical Centers home. We are truly growing our own pharmacists.